I'm Amy, but you can call me Geeky McFangirl. Welcome to my channel and thanks so much for joining me for a Disney inspired craft. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Tinkerbell backpack. You can find links for all the materials you'll need for this project in the description below the video. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know you can support me for $1 a month on Patreon. Start with a canvas backpack, messenger bag, or satchel that has a flap in front. I've linked to several options below the video. If there are any patches or elements on the bag, use a seam ripper or small scissors to remove them. Use a pencil to draw the shape of the bottom of a leaf on the flap. Then use fabric shears to cut away the excess fabric. Now it's time to make sure that the flap stays together and that the fabric doesn't fray. Use a fray check product such as Stop Fray to essentially glue the two sides of the flap together. Then put a small amount of the stop fray on your finger and carefully smooth it on the edges of the fabric to seal them. It's very important that you let the stop fray dry completely before continuing to the dyeing process. Next it's time to dye your bag green. I recommend that you use a cotton or canvas bag. It's the easiest fabric to dye and you will usually get good results. While there is a special kind of dye that makes it possible to color polyester fabric, the results are unreliable, so stick to canvas if you can. In a large pot, mix water and dye according to the package instructions. Heat the mixture and immerse the bag to dye it. Make sure you get even coverage by moving the bag around and stirring. Be patient and let the bag sit in the dye for a good amount of time. Then remove and rinse the bag thoroughly. Make sure to let it dry completely and if it seems wrinkled you may want to iron the bag as well. Use green dimensional fabric paint to draw a thick line all the way around the leaf shape. Then draw a curved line down the middle to the point. And finally draw radiating lines from the center to the sides to create a leaf pattern. Let the dimensional fabric paint dry completely before continuing. Once the dimensional paint is dry, it's time to add some pixie dust. Use a light green glitter paint and a wide flat brush to create a sparkle effect in each section of the leaf. Once the glitter paint has dried completely, your Tinkerbell backpack is done. This bag is great for Disney bounding as Tinkerbell in the Disney parks or for back to school. Thanks so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have fun if you make this backpack project. And if you liked this craft and you want to see what's coming next, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see me live stream my craft projects, then you can find me on Twitch. And if you want to support my channel, you can also find me on Patreon. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.